Hey everyone, welcome back to Street Level Strategies. My name is Bobby Joe Dallas, host of Street Level Strategies, and I am joined today by Chris Lubers, loan officer at Delmore Mortgage. How are you doing today, Chris? I'm doing great, Bobby Joe. How about yourself? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for joining us. I am super excited to get into this conversation. Before we get started, why don't you go ahead and do you mind just doing a quick introduction to yourself? Give you know the folks listening today a little bit of a, information about you and you as an originator. Yeah, so I started originating uh, roughly five years ago. Uh, so uh, as you uh, know, this is my first refinance market, which has yeah. been pretty exciting. How fun is that? Uh, it's it's different. Uh, we'll put it that yeah. way. Um, yeah. But uh, I'm, I work for Delmar Mortgage, and I'm here in the Metro East in O'Fallon, Illinois. And uh, we have an, off, an awesome office here. Uh, and uh, I'm happy to be here and, and be able to talk about all that. Awesome. Well, with that being said, so when you came into the industry, I guess maybe a quick off script question. So did you use any other tools besides Total Export or is this the first CRM that you've leveraged? Uh, there was a CRM. At, I was at a company for a very brief period of time before okay. Delmar. Uh, it was a different CRM, but I can't remember the name of it. So it couldn't have been that good. Yeah, it couldn't have been that good. No, no nothing noteworthy. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Okay, sweet. So um, newer into the industry, but also um, has been leveraging Total Expert for a little bit. And, and what I want to start off talking about is a little bit about our customer intelligence tool, because that's one of the things that when we were talking, it's one of the features and the, the tool sets that you um, have been seeing recent success with, so specifically within this refi market. And I mean, going into also, you know, purchase market as well, as you look forward, um, when it comes to customer intelligence, where are you seeing the most success within these alerts and insights? So there's a lot of alerts that we use on a daily basis. Uh, I would say the one that I find the most benefit and the greatest impact is when we see that credit alert pop up. Because yeah. uh, that gives us that opportunity, especially in this refinance market, to say, hey, you may have forgot about us. Um, you know, our drip campaigns may have been in the spam folder, um, but uh, let's let's talk about what you're doing and give us an opportunity to discuss, you know, maybe we can benefit you some there. Yeah. Um, we, so we use that alert and then we, we do look at the rate alerts as well. Um, and I think that's a really useful tool in the aspect of being able to maybe, you know, as we look through that pipeline about who can do a refinance, we might have overlooked somebody and then that's a great tool to, to come back and say, hey, maybe we give this person a call and see if we can save them some money. Yeah, that's so true, especially with the rate alerts, right? Um, there's a sense of, okay, you can stay on top of your pipeline, you can be working through making calls, but the timeliness of being able to know exactly when that rate, you know, it may be, you know, compared to the market rate, it may be time to give them a call and you never know, it could be half a percent, it could be a percent, but just even that little bit, right? You can't always stay on top of it. So the, the you know, just how quickly you can get those alerts to you to be able to say, hey, it's time to reach out um, and give them a call. And I also love what you said about drip campaigns, right? Because you can send a drip campaign or you can have some automation in place, which is great. But the benefit of being able to alert you, the loan officer, to actually makes that personal touch point is such a key differentiator in, you know, the loan officers, middle tier loan officers versus like the top tier loan officers, right? The ones yeah. who can actually reach out and maintain that personal relationship with the borrower. Absolutely. I think that uh, people, you know, they they often recognize, and there's some people that think that's me emailing them, but they often right. recognize that's a drip campaign. And right. that phone call is a completely different type of touch. 100%. And, and tell me a little bit about, so with the credit alerts, which you've been receiving for a while and leveraging, talk to me a little bit. Have you seen any success with these, you know, or have a specific instance where you're like, this was powerful, this moved the needle for me, and this helped me close more deals? Well, I can I can actually think of a very specific example where right. a client was uh, they were going to be taken advantage of in a pretty significant way. Uh, the the rate alert, or excuse me, the credit alert came across. I reached out to him, and he's like, "Chris, we've already started the process with somebody else." I said, "Just let me look over the loan estimate, make sure you're getting a fair deal." Uh, he was getting charged over twenty thousand in points. So that rate, although it sounded great to him. Uh, it definitely had some eh, some some parts he missed on that, and, and as a consumer, he didn't even realize that. So, uh, in this particular case, this this guy was saved a significant amount of money, and then, and of course, on our side, we were able to maintain that relationship with that client. Right. Wow, what in a crazy story, and a just the ability for you to rebuild trust with that client, but also how scary that other people are being taken advantage of in that way. But you, yeah. as the originator, could then come in and be like, "Hey, this is." This is not beneficial to you. And yeah. let me tell you why. And let me be that 
trusted advisor for you. And I can I can probably assure you that in the future going down the road, now that you've built that trust with that borrower, they will come back to you for the next transaction and say, hey, Chris, is this a good transaction or what should I do next? Is this right? Because you've established that credibility with that borrower. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they're 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 a longtime client and I'm I'm pretty sure they're not going anywhere at this point. No, exactly. No, and, and that's really the importance of building trust with your borrowers um as a loan officer so man that's that's awesome i, I also want to transition here chris to talk a little bit about your process so one of the things that we talked a little bit about is that you are a very process driven loan officer which helps you stay on top of your clients and your database and so i want to talk a little bit about what you do from a, a daily a weekly perspective whether that be total expert or not or just from a you know originator standpoint how you manage your database and your clients do you mind sharing just a little bit about what is your overall strategy when it comes to um, you know, really maintaining your database? Because I think a lot of loan officers struggle with that and struggle with creating a process around that. So you mind just sharing a little bit about that? Yeah. So uh, I'm going to start by saying that uh, there's a whole joke about my process and how I'm kind of robotic in some oh, really? ways. Um, but the 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 focus of my process is always on the process itself. So I think a lot of people go out and they set these goals of I want to close 20 million, 30 million, 50 million, whatever it is a year. Uh, and that's the goal, but they don't focus on the things that are going to be actionable to create that end game. Uh, so my process has always been just focusing on what I, can, I know works, making that plan of what works and then following that plan every day. And it may work that day. It may not work for a year. Uh, I think that some of the things I've done with, say, with Google Business and things like that, that two, three years in didn't drive any results. But after years four and five, those results showed up. Yeah. Um, so I think that's something and total experts help me in, in a lot of ways with that too, by, um, you know, allowing me to send out single property sites to my borrowers, or excuse me, my listing agents, whenever they're putting out, you know, a new listing, um, and things of that nature that I leverage on a daily basis. So, you know, on Mondays I do this on Tuesdays this on Wednesdays I do that yeah. uh, and and I think that a lot of that has to do with keeping track of who your people are um, and being able to look through my you know so on Monday I open up to a let's I go to my uh, list of realtors and I call each one of them or send them a text or whatever it may be or you know I might ship that around to a Friday and say hey I'm available this weekend um, but yeah that's that's kind of how I leverage it is just by making sure I focus on just doing the task at hand and not yeah. so much on the the outcome. Yeah. And I think that's an important conversation because a lot of the times we hear, okay, you know, what is, what are your goals for the year? Right. And you, you said, okay, here's one, two, three, four, five goals that I have, but it's the, how do you reach that goal? It's not the goal itself is great, but it's in what are you doing on a weekly basis to actually reach that goal? And what are the milestones to actually help you do that? And another thing you said that was interesting is I think a lot of the times we think, okay, we're going to do this action. It's going to get us this result immediately. But there's some things where it's really, it's it's the long game. And I, I think about when we talk about customer retention and loyalty, we are playing the long game. It's not the short game. It may be, okay, you play the short game right now, but the long game is that, hey, it may be a year, it may be five years, it may be 10 years till that next transaction. But the hope, right, is that in that in playing the long game and actually doing the things repeatedly and over a span of, you know, one, two, three, four, five years, that that borrower will come back because you have made yourself the trusted advisor for that for that person. So I think that's a, a really key distinction. And, and what you've mentioned, right, with some of the strategies that you're putting in place is playing the long game, not the short game when it comes to you know, retention and loyalty within your database. Well, another thing uh, after you said that, that I thought of was yeah. uh, being able to track what realtor gave me that lead in the first place. Yep. Uh, so when they come back to me, I can go into total experts, say, oh, this realtor XYZ gave me this client. And that's a great way to continue to build that relationship with them to say, hey, they came back to me. Have they called you yet? Yep. And you can give them that that introduction yeah. back. No, and it's a full circle, especially if you're primarily, you know, referral, if, you, if you're primarily, primarily referral sourced, right? So working with your agents, it's that full circle of, okay, if I can provide a great customer experience, then I can also loop that back around and provide value to my agents, which also solidifies that relationship. So I think it's really this, this circle effect. And that's also why when it comes to Total Expert with, with the agent relationship and partnership, why it's so important to focus on those relationships and how we're nurturing our clients, because we can then come back and, and tell the agent, hey, you know, 
I, you know, I still have this client work with you. Can we, can we build our business together? And so I think it's this, this circular approach of, you know, the, if we're, if we're doing well, we're also supporting our agents. It all kind of comes together and really builds this, this good, um, solid relationship with our agents and borrowers. Yep. That's, I think of it as a snowball. We're just rolling downhill yeah, together. Just keep going. We're not pushing it uphill. We're just rolling it downhill. We're just rolling yep. it downhill. Yep, it gets easier, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Chris, anything else that you want to, you know, add in regards to total expert, your process, anything like that? Otherwise, this has been an awesome, awesome conversation. Thanks for, for jumping on. Yeah, no, I think, I think it's, we pretty much covered it, but uh, I really appreciate you having me today. It was, it was fun. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Chris. We will see you soon and keep doing you. You're killing it. Awesome. Thanks. I appreciate it, Bobby. All right. See you later. Bye.